Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is the US Futures Weekly Chart Analysis for the week ending 21st of June 2024. First chart is the US Dollar Index Futures, as it always is. And you can see this week the market pulled back and recovered, trading inside the range of the previous bar on reduced and below average volume. This was a consolidation and absorption bar. This was a test for supply and it was found that supply was low this week and that leaves the market well placed to make an attempt to push higher in response. Here's the high of the previous bar and you can see that buying support has been found in this bar. Here's the response higher after a brief test for supply. Prices pushed up. Not quite challenged the highs of the range, but close. And it's consolidated this week. And it does look well placed to make an attempt to push higher, which will place a number of the other associated markets under pressure if it does so. Now, this could fail, but at this point, it looks like the market will make an attempt to push higher. This is the E-mini S&P, S&P 500 index futures. And you've seen price break out above this pullback and recovery, little period of consolidation, a push out last week. This week is an up bar, but spreads narrowed. It's closed in the middle on an increase in volume. It would appear that some supply has been drawn out, which isn't surprising. Now, I would imagine price will test for supply this week. It'll be a bar that pulls back to some degree and close mid to high. You may even find the highs of the breakout line are tested for strength. You may even find the market pulls back to this level over a week and we respond higher the following week. But you've had supply drawn out this week by the looks. You at least get a pullback early next week and see how much supply is in the market. The last two weeks volume have been pretty high. It'd be nicer to get back to these sort of levels through here, back around the average or just a fraction below it. So you may find there's some work to be done. And 50% of the time when a market breaks out above an important level, it actually comes back and tests the level for strength prior to making the attempt to push higher and confirm the breakout. And that may be what's happening. You're at least going to get a test for supply this week, almost certainly in the first couple of days. US Treasury 10-year note futures closed very slightly higher this week on quite low volume. You can see back here we saw a reluctance to move lower and some buying support emerge. Price pushed up to the highs of the range or the old breakdown line here. The market then consolidated for a number of weeks, made a brief attempt to push higher and then pushed through this week. You've pretty much had your breakout confirmed this week. Price would have pulled back otherwise, but instead this is a consolidation and absorption bar a test for supply and price is trading just a touch below the next higher breakdown line, which is actually a complex low. There's two lows right adjacent to each other. This leaves this market well placed to push higher in response. There may be a pullback if there's strength in the US dollar and test the old breakdown line here. But this market does look like it wants to go higher. And given any sort of opportunity, it'll attempt to do so. It doesn't mean it'll be successful, but it'll attempt to do so if the opportunity is presented. This market tested for supply this week. Volume was low, below average, well below average. I imagine this market will attempt to push higher in response next week. Copper price futures. Copper price futures are making an attempt to consolidate 
at this level. In the background, we've got the old period of consolidation here. And here was the initial breakout and consolidation in response. Price pushed up. And this level here was the old highs of the range. That's why this bar has closed in the middle. This was an absorption bar. In response, price did break out again. It went through pretty much a month of consolidation. This is like a bullish absorption, pushing higher. The market then accelerated higher and it did look unsustainable at the time. And it's proved to be so. Price has pulled back. You can see that spreads have narrowed as price has pulled back. And there's a pretty good attempt now to consolidate in here, adjacent to where the market was sustainably absorbing its way higher using some form of bullish absorption. And that's what's going on this week. Spreads narrowed as price pulled back. You had buying support emerge, and now you've got an absorption bar. You can see the last four bars are all well below the old average. Average is up here. These bars are down here. So selling pressure has reduced. If there was further selling pressure emerge, you would probably see price come down to test this level for strength. But that hasn't happened at this point. At this point, the market is attempting to consolidate around the $4.50 level. And it's looking pretty good at the moment. Like it's looking like selling pressure is easing and the market's making a pretty good fist of it down here. That'll produce some sort of base for the market to springboard off of at some point in the future if it is successful. Gold price futures. Gold price futures are continuing to consolidate up near the highs of the range. You can see down here where price initially pushed higher. There's a whole video on this bar if you want to go and look for it. And then there was a period of consolidation in here. This bar was the telltale bar of strength coming in, which eventually saw price push higher. Little period of consolidation after this breakout, a further push higher. Supply has been drawn out on these two bars, which you can see down here. But the market's making a pretty good attempt to absorb this supply that's been drawn out. You can see volumes are reducing considerably over the last month, with the market hardly even threatening the lows of the range. This is a good period of consolidation, despite any strength in the US dollar. The market's still trading above the lows of the range and almost at mid-range. So this is a good effort by the market to hold on and consolidate right up near the highs of the range. You could almost make a case for saying that the range is all the way up here like this. You only had this two-week consolidation in between. And look how high in that range the market is consolidating. When you consider that anything above the 50% line, which is around here, anything above the 50% line is showing you how much strength is in the market. A lot of markets will push down to the lows before actually recovering and then pushing higher in response. This market is continuing to consolidate right up high in this range. And that's a sign of strength if proven correct. And it, what it appears at the moment. Really good effort at the moment by gold. Silver price futures. Silver price futures, similar to gold, continue to consolidate up near the highs of the range. Now, this market's always a little more volatile than gold. Here was the initial breakout, pretty much following gold through here. There was a push higher with some supply drawn out here, which is why the market was forced to push lower in response. There's the highs of the range through here, and you can see the market is consolidating above that level and doing a pretty good job. It did appear that the market was going to consolidate right up here in this little area here, but it has pulled down a little bit lower, just below those lows, and it's continuing to attempt to consolidate down here Volumes are a little higher than gold, 
but that's okay. This is a more volatile market than gold, and that's normally the case. It's not unusual anyway. But it is making a good fist of it and attempting to consolidate pretty high in the range. It's a bit of a stretch to say this is the whole range similar to gold when you've had a fairly big period of consolidation here. So really you could more say that this is the range, this is the 50% level and the market is consolidating above the 50% level, which is good. That's just where you want it to be. You don't really want it to pull all the way back to the previous lows before attempting to recover, that's nowhere near as strong. If the market can consolidate up above the 50% level of the push higher, it's doing a really good job. Light crude price futures are on a bit of a rip at the moment. You can see down here, the market made a pretty good attempt to consolidate Buying support came in. There was a little bit of a fit and start before the price moved higher and into bullish absorption. That's a really good example of bullish absorption. There's a breakdown line that comes through here. Price moved up to it, pushed above it, couldn't sustain itself up there. The lows of that bar correspond really nicely with the larger picture. Price broke down below that, moved into consolidation again, adjacent to where the bullish absorption took place, which is exactly what you want to see. And three weeks ago, the market tested that for strength. On an increase in volume, the market closed well off its low. Buying support had come in here, and the response has been two weeks of higher prices. That's the response to the buying support on this bar with higher volume and above average volume. Price did get a little carried away this week and moved above the safe level. There's definitely going to be supply above that level. And that's what was drawn out towards the end of the week. You could get through it if it was really important, but I think the market really wants to sit in here. And that's where the market's pulled back, just below that level, in this comfortable level in here, where there's support below and supply above. This is the happy place. And we'll just see if the market continues to trade in this range. Volume was slightly above average this week. It was reduced, but slightly above average. So there's a pretty good chance the market will test for supply in here early in the week. It may do so all week. This is where it wants to be, around the $80 level. Above that, it makes the other markets more difficult. And below that, there's buying support. So this is the happy place, just above 75 and around 81 at the highest. Euro, US dollar currency futures. You can see this market's been trading roughly sideways since, well, for 18 months, pretty much sideways through here like this. In fact, you probably tighten that up a little bit. Here was the old important line here. Price broke below it on this bar here. It's a breakdown. It's only a minor breakdown within the overall range, but it's a breakdown all the same. You can see that was on an increase in volume, even fractionally above average volume. This bar is an important bar. It's making a mini range, which the market's respecting pretty well. Inside that, price has broken below this level two weeks ago and heading back down towards the lows of the range. This week was an absorption bar. So there may well be an attempt to support the market in here. It's an inside bar. And that's why, that explains partly why volume was lower this week. The market traded throughout this range previously on the previous bar and most of the trading that was wanting to be done within this range had been done previously. That leaves less supply within that range the following week. And the market's traded in there. That means the lows of the range have been respected. 
price hasn't broken below. So this was an absorption bar. It's an attempt to support the market. British pound currency futures, similar to the euro, have been trading sideways for an extended period of time. And similar to the euro, you can see where price broke below this intermediate level on an increase in volume previously. The market then saw some buying support emerge and pushed higher in response. Here's the highs of the overall range and you can see the market had been attempting to absorb its way through. This week the market has traded a little lower. It's attempting to hold on though. It's not a complete breakdown. Spread narrowed considerably. There wasn't very much demand for higher prices here, but when prices did begin to fall, there was no serious selling pressure either. So this was a bit of a neutral bar. It tried to hold on at the lows of the previous bar. Here's the close here, just a fraction below. It's certainly not a breakdown. The market's sort of threatening to break down, but even then it's trying to hold on more than it's threatening to break down. So it will depend to a large degree what the US dollar does next week. If that moves higher, that will probably push this market down to probably this level here, at least test towards it down like that. So to a large degree, this market is trading neutral and it will trade the inverse of the US dollar, which is what you expect. Japanese yen currency futures. You can see how a negative influence in the market makes it so difficult to recover and develop buying support. There's a serious negative influence in this market. That means that whenever some buying support does emerge and prices move higher in response, say like this bar or this bar, people who have been trapped in a poor position get the opportunity to get out for a slightly higher price. That brings supply out, which pushes price lower, and then price is forced to come back again. Then price moves lower, puts some more people under pressure. When there's an opportunity for the market to move higher, it draws out supply. That supply forces price back down, lets the people out who are under pressure, and that then puts the market, that selling pressure, back under pressure again. And it did look like pretty good buying support was coming into this market. And you can just see how it continues to be under pressure. It's trying to hold on. I think there has been some buying support emerge here, but the overall negative influence just makes it so difficult for the market to recover. Price has pushed lower this week. It's threatening the lows. It hasn't broken down, but it's threatening to break down. This is the real lows of the range here. This is the last gasp lows. This is not the stronger part of the level. This is the stronger part of the level up here. Prices moved down to these levels, but on reduced and below average volume. So selling pressure isn't serious. It's just really hard to support the market with ongoing supply being drawn out whenever the market attempts to push higher. So there's an attempt to support the market. It's looking less successful at the moment, but it's not done yet. Aussie dollar currency futures. The market continues to trade sideways and has done for a little while now. You've got the highs and the lows of the current range coming through here at the moment. There's a breakdown line in the past back there, which is still being respected. Price pushed above it on this bar, pulled back to it on the next bar, and it hasn't traded back above it since. It's respected it here, and it's respected it this week. This is a important breakdown line in the market. Continues to be respected. The mini range is through here, just above 66 and just above 67. The market continues to trade within that range at the moment. Price pushed higher this week. 
as the US dollar tested for supply, but volume was below average. It was reduced and below average. Spread actually reduced over the previous couple of bars as well. So there wasn't any great amount of fundamental trading in this market. It was trading the inverse of the US dollar to a large degree and respecting its levels at the same time. I don't expect anything different this week. I think if the US dollar attempts to push higher, this market will probably come back and test the lows of the range. If the US dollar trades sideways, so will it. And if the US dollar moves lower into consolidation again, you might get a little push higher. I don't expect much of a threat to this level though. So you may just get a sideways bar. Bitcoin futures. It did appear that Bitcoin futures were just taking a bit too long to consolidate through this level here. For anyone new, these levels show the previous all-time high and the highs of that range. This is the secondary breakdown line. This is where the market attempted to consolidate in response. It eventually failed and price consolidated down here, but that left supply within this range here which needed absorption at a later date when it was challenged. That's what we saw through here before price pushed up to the secondary breakdown line. There's one week consolidation, price pushed up again, and now it's been trading at the highs of the old range and the all-time high sideways for what I would consider a bit too long. Generally, a market will get this done and move higher in response. You've got the lows of the range coming through here. Price did try to hold on this week. And on the daily chart, you can see there's some buying support emerged. So there's an attempt to support the market. But just looking at it and where the market is now and the difficulty there's been for this market to consolidate, I'm starting to wonder if we'll see a shakeout in response. Something like this bar or this bar where the market really dips lower threatens any sellers in the market before recovering to close back near its highs. And then there may be a shakeout and a test before there is any serious attempt to push higher. That'll see the market moving around this 60,000 level, which will really test out how strong some of the holders are at the moment. If price threatens this level, you may see a serious increase in volume as it does so sort of like occurred here on this shakeout sort of bar here. Then there was a secondary shakeout, which had less volume and shows you that the people that were threatened had sold on this bar or throughout this period and weren't in the market. And that's why volume was lower down here. This has been going on for quite a while. The market had difficulty moving higher even after this. Won't surprise me if you see a shakeout in the next week or so to really threaten some of these sellers and hopefully remove them from the market. That being said, there was some buying support emerge later in the week this week, on the daily chart, and that's partly why the market didn't really close very much lower than the previous bar's low. Just back to the US dollar index futures quickly to finish up. You can see after watching all those other charts that the market has consolidated this week and it's in a good position to make an attempt to push higher. That doesn't mean it will successfully push higher, but there may well be an attempt to push higher in response. A complete failure here would be a serious negative for this market. For the test for supply, a period of consolidation can fail, there's no doubt. But that looks just like it wants to go higher or at least make an attempt to do so. And any push above 106 is going to really put some of these other markets under some pressure. And if that does happen, any market that shows strength in the face of the increasing strength of the US dollar are the ones that are really strong, the ones that are showing underlying strength. So Pay good attention to any market that maintains its position or even moves higher at the same time as the US dollar moves higher, if it does. Okay, thanks for your time. We'll do it again next week. See ya.